with that blush though. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Renee Carlson. It's Friday, I'm here for you and you and you. So today, what I have for you, <laughs> I don't actually have a whole lot of energy. Uh, so it's a good thing that I'm just doing a haul today, but we're also going to look at a little sneak peek of the next giveaway. I'm thinking I will put it up next week. I might even surprise you guys and put it up in a few days. So give me a thumbs up if you want me to put it up in a couple of days and let me know. And uh, yeah, let's just get into this. It's mainly from Sephora, but I got some things in from Ulta as well. I just, you know, had to do both. We have some stuff in here. We have a few things. And then yesterday I also got for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, unfortunately, was yesterday. There was something on today's that was really good. I can't remember. Shit. If I am motivated when I edit this, I will try to put in today's deals on Ulta because today is a deal. Anyways, yesterday, Cover FX, the blush, and the bronzer duos were on sale for half off. Blah, blah, blah. Half off. So I got a Sunkiss Bronze and I got Sweet Mulberry. I love these blushes. I have uh, Spice Cinnamon. I believe that's it. I do love the formula of the blush that I already have. So I was happy to pick up another one. And like I said, this is just like a dark berry type of color. So, um, I'm sure unless you have been hiding under a rock, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but Selena Gomez, Rare Beauty, I love everything that it stands for. I'm not going to sit here and talk a whole lot about it just because I feel like everybody is right now and I just want to kind of not do the same thing that everybody else is doing, let alone I spent my own money on these. So um, I did, I will say, try the blush. Which color did I get? I got, it's the red one, Grateful. Grateful? Yes, Grateful. So I am wearing that on my cheeks right now. The eyes, I will have all the makeup details, by the way, you guys, on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on there. I, shit. <laughs> like I was saying, make sure to follow me on Instagram. And if I don't have this look up already, I'll have it up soon. Seattle MUA Renee. I'll leave a link below and you guys can just check that out down there. So anyways, I am wearing Grateful and I absolutely love it. wasn't sure I wanted to do a red eye. It looks a little pink on camera, but it's definitely red. I use the Kylie Cosmetics, the Sailor, the new collection. So this blush is absolutely stunning. I, I actually don't want to, it is insanely pigmented. That's just the little bit that I spilt on me. So I'm not gonna do a swatch. There are so many people that have done beautiful and the full range of swatches for all the shades. So. You know, I feel like it's just, there's so much out there that I want to provide different content. By the way, you guys, it is so smoky out here in the Seattle area. Well, I'm east of Seattle, but man. Anyways, I tried this blush 
and I do love it. I definitely recommend the blushes. I would say is what I was most excited about getting. So I might actually get another one. I uh, want to try one of the matte formulas. So yeah. I try, I was going to try to use this as like my only concealer today, but unfortunately I got a shade that is way, 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 way too light for me. So this is the Rare Beauty Concealer in what light shade did I get? 140C Whole Buddy. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I was thinking, to be honest with you, but uh, you can see how <laughs> that's, uh, oops. So I just used a little, little tiny bit to clean up some of the red. There was a lot of fallout, but uh, I did love what little bit I tried, but the thing that I loved the most, which is the only other thing that I used out of everything new, is her Liquid Touch Brush that is cruelty-free concealer, concealer brush with uniquely sculpted bristles and pointed tip for precise coverage. Okay, this brush, let me, you know, it just looks better when I do it like that because my hands are so wrinkly. So I just love the way that this, how precise that is. Mind you, it's dirty because I did use it today, but I love the pointedness. So you can just get like really, I was able to really get in there. And then I loved it for the more flat pieces of your face. And then I felt like it just did a really good, good job blending. So honestly, out of everything, this is probably my favorite thing. Granted, I haven't tried the other things yet, yet, but I love this brush. Like if you want a concealer brush, highly, highly recommend checking this one from Rare Beauty out. Highly recommend. Love it. So I picked up the new NARS. I did take it out of the box, but I haven't swatched it. I haven't worn it or anything. I am wearing my favorite Shiseido foundation today. Any of you guys that really know me know that I love the Shiseido foundation. It has been my holy grail. That and the Dior Forever Matte. I did return the Too Faced compare it to the the matte peach one you know how they had the pr peach primer and then the peach mattifying foundation that was in like the tube i've seen people also compare it to that thinking of possibly doing a wear test on this new nars foundation this is the soft matte foundation Just squeeze this out and then i also have my other NARS foundation in here in the same shade, which I used Stromboli. I feel like I should shake it a little bit. It's very runny. Yeah, th I guess that looks about right. Let's grab the other one. Actually, they're close, but not the same. Definitely not exact shades. This one is quite a bit more warm and this one is more golden, golden slash olive. So that's the Naturally Radiant Longwear Foundation. So anyways, I'm gonna give this a go. I know this is a lot more matte and it's supposed to have a lot more coverage. And so, you know, I'll let you know, let me know if you guys want me to do a foundation review and wear test on this one, I know I just did one on the Too Faced, but I returned it. So let me know. Do you want this? Not this. You can't have this. I also got one of her liquid luminizers. 
So I got the shade Enchanted. Just felt like this was a little bit different. So I aimed for that. The pink one looks like this. I love the packaging. It is absolutely stunning. Okay. That is pretty gorgeous. I don't know, guys. I mean, if summer was an ending, I could, I, oh shit. I just poured out some for my homies. It's very liquid, blah, blah, liquidy. It has like a little stopper thing there. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? That is a lot of packaging that it goes into. When you get down into it, you see that 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 the jar isn't like completely all glass. So that's interesting. I don't know why that's so interesting to me. But let's see, I also got one of the lip souffles. So I got the shade, what did I get? Fearless. So I got a Patrick Ta Beauty, one of the ones that I have been wanting. That is cream and also powder. I already dug into this. So this is the shade, oh, she's different. Because, you know, I'm different. I love that he took the time to make just even this little plastic flap that goes over the cream product. So it would be great for travel or anything like that. Look at how beautiful that is. And then the powder side also super, super pigmented. And then from Ulta, I got some MAC. <laughs> I finally got some of the new Powder Kiss stuff. Stuff. So I got the Powder Kiss lipstick in more the mirror. Kind of the mirror. I have the mirror lipstick. M-E-H-R. And love it. And I thought this would also be really good for fall. Let's swatch it right here. Very creamy. I don't know. I've heard mixed things. If you guys have any of these or have any recommendations, just uh, let me know because I'm curious. And then, oh, the other one I actually used, so it's in my bathroom, but I picked up two of the eyeshadows. I got so hot right now, which is a kind of brick mandarin orange, blood orange type color. I do love the matte packaging. I haven't heard a lot of people mention that, but it is different than their other single shadows, their normal packaging. And then this is for the Powder Kiss. So look at this pigment. I mean, so so beautiful if you guys have these or have heard anything about them let me know in the comments below but um yeah that is everything i got so are you ready for this part this is just a little sneak peek of what will be in the next giveaway. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram, Seattle MUA Renee. I'll leave it below. And make sure to turn on notifications 
like this video and let me know when you guys want this up. Obviously not today. That's not going to happen. But I have some Luxie brushes in here. I have some ColourPop and Flower Beauty and just all kinds. It Cosmetics, we've got MAC, we've got oh, e.l.f. sponges, and I really wanted you guys also to try some of these blushes. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I love you guys. I hope that everyone is staying healthy with the coronavirus and everything. And then also just all the fires that are going on. Everything is just crazy. All we can do is focus on today and right now and, you know, spend time with your friends and family when you can and when they're able and everything is okay and it's safe, obviously, you know, but life is short and it's it's been a stressful time on everyone, including me. And I just want you to know that you're not alone because I am also right there. Whether it looks like it on social media or not, you know, Instagram is just pixels. So you don't really get to know what's going on with someone personally. And I just want everyone to know that you are loved and I love you. And subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Thank <laughs> you.